Hello, everyone. I'm Eugene, and welcome to another chapter of the Traveling Drummer's Diary series. These next couple of episodes will tell you a story of how I went on a European festival tour with Vital Remains in 2017. As always, I hope these videos will bring something fresh to the series, because a summer festival tour differs quite a bit in terms of conditions and shows. So let's get started. It was a more than two week long tour. We played some exceptionally great festivals. The rest of the days were either small club shows or days off, filling the gaps. We started off with Party Sand in Germany, two days off, then Copenhagen, Denmark, after one day back to Germany for Summer Breeze Festival, Hamburg, Germany, club show, another club show in Tilburg, Netherlands, next one, Metal Mean Festival in Belgium, off to France for Moto Culture Festival, a small club show in Nantes, one traveling day to get all the way to Slovakia, Banska Bystrica, then the lovely Kaltenbach festival in Austria, a day off and finally the German Death Feast Open Air Festival. Hello. It's first half of August, beautiful weather in Vienna. The meeting point was set in Frankfurt where the tour would start, so I headed to the airport. As always, I was getting late because I never learn. There's a super fast city airport train in Vienna that saved my ass a couple of times now. Tip number 41. Getting late for a flight in Vienna? Use the expensive cat as a worst case scenario. It's time to say goodbye to this guy. Bulky guy. Apparently I have somehow angered the weather gods, cause it was cold and raining in Frankfurt. I would like to stop here for a moment and refer to a useful tip from an older episode. Tip number 30. Make sure you double check the average temperature at places you go tour to during that specific time of the year and bring proper clothes. But of course it was not enough to stop me. All my luggage arrived safely. After a rather cold and unpleasant reception, I took a shuttle bus to the hotel. Had a chance to have some rest, because the next day we headed out for our first show at Party San. The van we had for this tour was a pretty cool one. It's an important part of the journey and this diary, so I will show it to you from up close a bit later. Самі круті ліфти в нашому готелі. Ліфт, який не дозволить вам ожиріти. Here's the van. The lower part of the trunk of course serves for equipment and luggage. While the upper half was separated with a shelf, had a mattress and some pillows which could easily fit two persons or even maybe three. The trunk obviously contains our own gear, as well as rented backline like a drum kit, amps and so on. A cool thing you will probably not be able to get just as a visitor is a festival artist shirt, which is obviously handed over to bands only. Tip number 42. Make sure you grab a festival artist shirt. It's a unique souvenir or just extra clean tour clothes. One of the advantages of the Party Sun Festival is that it's located in an airfield of some kind. This means that if it's raining, and in first half of August it is pretty likely, there won't be any mud. Which is pretty much the only advantage of concrete in this case, but a very important one. You'll probably miss the nice green grass and trees, but certainly not the mud. I don't recall how many stages there were, but we played the big one, which is the main stage. I remember the crew was really professional and helpful as well as stage conditions were great. The overall comfort and performance was one of the best I experienced. There was plenty of space to set up on the side of the stage even with three drum risers. There's a riser in the back, ready to be rolled on stage during the changeover. It will be swapped with the riser which is currently on stage and that one will be put here. 
Each riser has a designated spot. Both of these risers use the festival drum kits. If you're bringing your own, you can set up on the third riser so no time is wasted. Backstage. Some of the bands had these festival containers, which can be pretty decent. We didn't get one for party sand, but I'll show you how one looks from the inside in the next episode. It was really cold that day and performing was a struggle. It was also raining and the stage was wet. All because of this, I had a pretty unique highlight after the show. Just when we were going to take a picture with the crowd after the last song... Tip number 43. Never, ever run on a wet stage. 5 second rule. If you pick it up fast enough, it doesn't count as dropped. Had a nice signing session after the show and we met a fan who gave us a present which was a reproduction of the picture we took with the crowd in Costa Rica around a month ago. Later I used up my only coupon for a rather standard German meal – potatoes, red cabbage and pork. A cool thing you could find in the backstage tent is a small kit with pads for warm-up that you could use. I decided to give each festival we visit on this tour a personal rating from a performer's perspective. First, the crew. Pretty self-explanatory. How well they treated you on and off the stage. Without a doubt, 3 out of 3. Infrastructure. How far you need to walk, conditions off the stage, backstage, local equipment. A solid 2 out of 3 for sure. Catering. Nothing special, but nothing bad. Overall would give 4 out of 5. A really cool festival. This is of course just my personal opinion, which might differ from yours if you had a chance to perform here. A late bad time reminder of my highlight tonight. Apparently the absence of elevators was decided to be compensated with neat bathrooms. Savage. Probably the purpose of these stairs was to replace a hotel gym and do some exercises in the morning. Yay, stay positive. Just a typical hotel breakfast and hitting the road with two consecutive days off. Awesome. Since we had to spend the time somewhere and the next show is in Copenhagen, the cheaper option would be to stay in Germany for the days off. If my memory is correct, we spend the next two days somewhere near Hamburg. This episode ends here. I know it's been only one festival out of 11 shows, but I'll be back with the rest of the tour soon. This way I can pack in more details into each video. Make sure you tag along, cause next time we're boarding a ferry to plunder Denmark. Thanks for watching, see you in the next episode. Eugene, out. Still here? Make sure you check out these as well.